when I was three years, uh, three years old, I got measles and um, it affected my hearing. Uh, so um, I had hearing aids on, on both ears. Um, luckily, you know, I was able to go to normal schools, um, enjoying my life and just, um, um, you know, enjoying simple things in life, yeah. Um, then uh, when I was 20 years old, um, I got a sudden drop in my left ear. Um, and, and then I had the same sudden drop on the following, like uh, in the following year, and that that was really devastating. So um, I was profoundly deaf. And then um, uh, that one was when I was doing my first architecture degree uh, back home in Sudan. Then I moved into UK, um, and I really wanted to do another degree. Um, and uh, I started, although I was profoundly deaf. So, um, you know, I didn't know any sign language and um, um, I largely relied on lip reading. Um, and uh, I was struggling to get by in my first year um, because I didn't have a note taker. And uh, luckily the, the course was um, design heavy. Uh, so I was able to excel with, you know, working so hard and just be determined that I can do it. And uh, it went very well so far. And um, I had um, my, my implant in summer 2011 that was between first year and second year. And um, uh, after the implant, I won. I um, I received um, a letter um, saying that I, wo I won an award for the best first year student, and that was amazing because it just made me um, realize that you can achieve anything with sheer determination and working hard. I didn't expect it. I just worked hard because I had to to um, compensate for the the loss, the hearing loss I had. Um, then uh, from second year onwards, um, it was much better. I was able to um, hear lectures and uh, be more sociable and um, more confident as well. And then um, in, in third year, um, I won another award and that was for um, the third year student who best demonstrated an understanding of construction and materials. And I was so happy because um, it's just, you know, f going from being deaf to being able to hear that definitely helped me to even um, reach my highest potential. Uh, so my parents were so proud, my, all my family, um, and I was so proud of myself as well. I think the implant was uh, truly life-changing because um, I'm doing architecture, so uh, working as an architecture assistant, you need to communicate a lot with your team, uh, with clients, and you know sometimes you need to just pick up the phone and you know call someone or uh, order a sample, something just as simple as that. And I was so worried before before the implant, like was thinking to myself, if I can't hear, how how I'm gonna do that? And then um, the implant just changed everything. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for it, and um, um, I would definitely encourage people just to go for it. When I had the switch on, I remember that I, I wanted to, to hear, and um, I was determined that I'm going to hear, and I believed that I'm going to hear. And uh, three weeks later, I was talking over the phone with my dad, and I could hear him just very clearly and um, and then it dawned on me that you know if you believe in something it happens so obviously um, you are what you believe yeah